I've spent the last few weeks trying to come up with a decent postpartum wardrobe for this spring and summertime. I had my first baby a year ago and I went through IVF. I gained a bunch of weight during IVF and I also gained weight after weaning from breastfeeding back in December. So I am at the heaviest weight I have ever been and I have been trying to lose weight but my body has been really holding onto it and it's only been recently that I have lost a couple pounds and that's after like months of trying to lose weight. That's gonna be a whole different video of like what I'm doing in order to lose weight. But most of the time, my problem is that I don't wanna get ready because none of my clothes fit. The whole last year, all I have done is worn leggings and like the same five t-shirts over and over again because I was like pumping and you know, I had to find clothes that would fit, you know, being able to pump. But then also like I have a very large stomach area. At that time, I thought I was gonna be able to to lose weight pretty quickly so I didn't want to buy a whole new wardrobe in this bigger size because I thought that I was going to be back into my pre-pregnancy clothes from like you know two summers ago but obviously that didn't happen and now I'm even up you know a, a bigger size than that so I'm gonna show you guys the clothes that I got in order to have you know like seven to ten outfits that I can wear and just rewash all summer long. I actually read a book a couple months ago. It was called The Lazy Genius Way and it was so so good. I highly recommend it. The audiobook's really good and in this book she talks about how like if getting dressed and getting ready for the day is something that's really hard for you, give yourself like an actual like, uniform. So she said for like the past three years she wears the exact same outfit every Monday which is like jeans and a black t-shirt or something like that. So for me I found a couple different types of clothing that work really well for me. I got things that I'm really comfortable in. I got in a couple different colors so that way you know I can wear the same thing but it's just changed up I really love leggings and I don't like jeans so I actually only have one pair of jean shorts and then the rest of this is just going to be very comfortable Your shorts um, I have a bunch of rompers and stuff and I think almost all of this stuff came from Amazon so I will put together a little like list on my Amazon storefront which I have linked down below so that way you can shop everything that I am going to be wearing this summer and like recommending and stuff so let's go ahead and I will show you the outfits that I have all right I carry a lot of my weight um in my belly area I also had a c-section so that I think also causes you know this whole belly area I had a belly even before when I was like smaller size it's just how my body is i am 5'8 i am 210 pounds and i will try and give you some of the sizing that i have so that way you know what to order on amazon so i'll let you know like sizes that i got currently right now um this is one of the things that i got this is a romper and you can kind of like pull it up on your calves a little bit like it's not supposed to be like fully long Man, I feel like I can't even see myself. I'm so far away. This goes really well with some sandals. I'll show you sandals that I have. And then I have white sneakers. Um, so you can like wear either one. But it ties right here. It's a little bit elastic. And I like wearing it like high up like this. So that way it accentuates my waist. And it's super comfy. Oh, it also has pockets, which is super nice. And so I actually have this in this navy blue. I have it in black. And I also got it in my favorite green color. So here it is in black and here it is in green. So these are super nice because like for instance today, um, I took Alice to story time. I can run around with my one year old, you know, well, she doesn't walk yet, but you know what I mean? Like this summer, she'll probably be going out and about but this is very comfortable. It also works really well for like, say maybe you are in a children's museum or something where it's like, it might be super hot outside, but you're kind of inside with like air conditioning. And so that way, like I'm not wearing something where like I'm gonna be freezing in air conditioning. Or today it is a rainy day outside, but it still is like slightly humid. It's like a weird, like 
68 70 degrees and so like this outfit just works super well now i had actually gotten this in a bigger size at first and it was too big like up top here it was fine like on the legs but you could tell that it was like too big i ended up returning it and getting the smaller size so i had actually ordered a 2xl at first and now all of these are in an extra large i just really really like this outfit a lot i don't really have many shoe options i usually try and stick very minimal to shoes so these are the white sneakers that I have that pair really well with these with like no show socks. These are my more fancier pair of sandals. I got these at Target and I believe I got these. These are no boundaries. So I think I got these at Walmart a couple years ago. So these are from Walmart. Just kidding. These are from Old Navy. And then I actually have a pair of like fake Birkenstocks coming from Amazon. I'll try and show you what they look like um, here. They were supposed to be here by now, but they're actually like delayed. So now I'm not gonna get them for like a whole nother week. But I had a pair very similar from Old Navy the last few years and I ended up having to like throw them away because I just wore them so much and they were falling apart. I don't wear shoes in the house though, so I'm not gonna be having my shoes on with these outfits that I'm gonna show you. So forgive me, but just imagine either a sneaker or a sandal on me. Okay, another romper, but this one is in shorts and a t-shirt. This is also from Amazon. I only have this one in black so far. Um, and I was able, like, it's very easy to just like do the button yourself if you need to button or unbutton. Um, this one does have pockets again, and it's just super, like, here's the back. It's just super, super comfortable. You know, just imagine sandals, crossbody bag, got Alice, you know, I just feel like such a nice, comfortable mom outfit. And I just love the rompers so much because I don't have to like figure out putting together like a whole two piece outfit, like one outfit and I'm done. But yeah, I might actually think about getting another one of these in another color just for the t-shirt. And I'm gonna show you next, I actually have uh, two tank top rompers. And I promise not every single thing I got is a romper because I know those don't work for everyone but they do really work for me, I think. I just went the easy route and got like rompers because they're just so comfortable and you can dress them up really nicely. All right, so I have this um, tank top romper, which I actually originally got in brown. I can try on the brown also, but Alvin liked the red the best, but for some reason I'm not totally sold on the red and I feel like I feel like that last one that I just had on, the black like t-shirt one, I feel like looked a little bit better. I don't know if it was because it was black, but for some reason I feel like this red one I'm not sold on. I'll show you the brown and then you can help me decide. Pockets, again, this one it feels like the sh like is a little bit bigger than all the other ones I had on. Okay, here's the brown. I just feel like the brown fits me better. I'm pretty sure these are the exact same brand and same size. I think the brown fits me better. So I actually think I'm gonna keep the brown and send back the red. I think of all the clothes that I have, these were the only two that I could not decide. But again, you guys can let me know so that way I know what to send back. But again, with sandals, oh my gosh. I just think this is so cute. This I actually did get on Amazon. You probably saw it in my last day in the life vlog. Um, I got it so that way I can put all my stuff, my camera, my phone, or I could easily take Alice somewhere and throw like a snack or something in here. It has so much storage. So I'll link this down below too. Um, Cause I take a big bag if we're going somewhere like long, but I love to be like hands free with this one if I just need to like run in somewhere. So yeah, I think I'm keeping the brown. I think I'm sending the red back. Unfortunately for Alvin, if he thought I looked better in the red, but I just like this one a lot. Okay, and then I did get one pair of jean shorts. These are from Old Navy. And yes, I have on very high-waisted <laughs> underwear <laughs> because my belly is just so fat. Like if I wear low-waisted underwear, I mean, you can just see like rolls through everything. So I wear high-waisted underwear, but anyway. Um, these are size 18. I have actually a pair of 16s, I think, from last year. And then I also have a pair of like 14s and I have a wild fable pair of 14s that I could like almost fit in. But I hate how much like sometimes they squeeze my belly. So I did size up to an 18 this year and they just feel like really comfortable. Like, yes, I probably have some room here especially once you wear them, they might like 
get even bigger but i am totally okay with that and then this shirt i've just had like forever literally for years so i could always do like a you know little casual comfortable outfit like this if i wanted to wear jean shorts also just got this graphic tee um from old navy but i have a couple other graphic tees so i could always do you know jean shorts and a graphic tee although i do like pairing the graphic tees a lot with the biker shorts so i do have some of those these old navy shorts are these ones i feel like it's so hard to like re-figure out shorts i have a favorite pair of jeans and i literally could not find them to be in like the bigger size all right for biker shorts i have a two pack of biker shorts that i got from amazon last year because i needed bigger shorts for the summer um these ones are pretty thick like you're not gonna like they're not gonna rip you're not gonna see anything through them i didn't get the ones with pockets and as you can see they are this long again you know throw this on have sneakers or sandals I mean, cute, you can't go wrong. I love this Jaws t-shirt. I also just really like Jaws. Jaws and Twister are some of my favorite, like older movies, love them. Another pair of shorts that I have are these, which I also had in a smaller size two years ago and I loved them. Last year I bought this bigger size. Um, and these, I mean, there's not really a way to like dress this up, like I would definitely, wear biker shorts if i was like oh i kind of want to put you know look put together this is literally just like lazy day at home like you know cleaning okay then at old navy um i got this like more dressier romper which i thought would be really cute especially going to the beach like if we're going out to eat or something i believe i got this in extra large and then i also tried it or i got it in large because i wasn't sure like what size because in the extra large it feels like a little big in places um but the large literally would not go past my hips so extra large it is and i just think it looks really cute super flowy it's like a thick linen type material um i do need to shorten the straps a little bit and obviously i would wear like a black bra or something with it um but i need alvin to help me like actually do the straps so i haven't done that yet but i like this like heart shape and with sandals i think it's going to be really cute oh yeah it has pockets but I think this is going to be really cute for our beach trip. You know, the one that we always have in June. Planning ahead this time because last year we were like literally about to leave and I had like no clothes for it. Okay, and then I do have one of these biker, I forget what they're called, like biker romper things. Um, this one I think came from Amazon from last year because I actually do have one from Old Navy. Um, but I believe the Old Navy one does not fit because it is a large. <laughs> So I'm just gonna save this for when I get smaller. But the thing is, is I need to find a cover-up. I had like a white button cover-up last year, but I don't think I saved it anymore. I think it started like falling apart because I just got it from like Walmart or something. So if you have any recommendations of a nice like lightweight like shirt that I could wear with this, let me know because well, I love shopping at Amazon, but I do sometimes shop at like Old Navy and Target. But I need a nice flowy shirt to go with this so that way this can be an actual like outfit because I would not just wear this out and about. Um, but I do like it because it kind of like hugs everything in and it does accentuate like my waist. I really have to like work to accentuate my waist because that's what makes me look like slimmer from this angle because from this angle I got got a belly but yeah with a little flowy shirt this you know my sneakers or whatever it would be so cute i just love it love it love it love it swimsuits i usually always get my swimsuits from amazon and these are in an 18 plus i do really like one pieces especially because of like running around with alice and stuff this year this has like really nice um support up here because of this cross in the back which i really like and i love any type of ruching or ruching, ruching whatever however you say that um on the belly area obviously i still have a belly but i just feel very good in this type of swimsuit i had one of these um again two years ago but i do not fit in it this year so i went and got a couple other swimsuits i wanted to have several because i do really want to take alice to the pool a lot this year and when we're at the beach and stuff like it always is not that great putting on a wet swimsuit so i am gonna have multiple different swimsuits i do have this cover up that i got 
years ago, I believe maybe from Walmart, but I hate that every time I wash it, like the strings all get tangled and stuff. And I'm not sure if it would fit this year. So I actually think I am going to buy a new cover up. So I am going to be looking on Amazon and possibly like Walmart and stuff, especially because I want to get one that can just match all the different colored like swimsuits suits that I'm going to have. But yeah, I love this one. I love anything that goes like around my neck or like that. Like it pulls, I don't know. I just like it on my shoulders. All right, this is another option that I got. I really like this color a lot. I think the way it like goes on my waist is a little bit better. I don't know. This one is really, really cute. Very comfortable, again, in an 18 plus. This green is just so incredibly beautiful. Right, this is the last option. I like this color a lot, but I think just with my postpartum body, um, this type of swimsuit is not something that I want to wear. There's just so much rollage and it's not even like it's too small or anything. Like even the top I actually feel like is a little too big, but it's just how my stomach is. No, if I was like, if I didn't have as much fat like on my belly, I feel like this is really cute and it is super comfortable, but just, I don't want to be like self-conscious, like, you know, sitting on a seat and everything like that. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go with the one pieces. Okay. That was my whole entire summer slash springish postpartum clothing haul capsule wardrobe thing. That gives me about like seven to 10-ish types of outfits that I can wear. I have been looking into maybe like a linen matching set. I know that those are really popular, you know, like linen shorts and a linen shirt, um, but I'm having a really hard time like finding one on Amazon. So if you have a recommendation or if you know of like a specific one at like Target or Old Navy that I should try, I would love to add like one or two of those to my wardrobe because because I think that those would be really cute, comfortable, but also could be dressed up and would be great for the beach. And then I obviously have to get like a large kind of like linen type shirt to go along with the like biker romper onesie type thing. I forget what those are called. I'm pretty, I feel like I have a really good set of clothing that I feel really comfortable in. I feel like that normally doesn't happen. I usually just like hate my body in the way that it is. Like I'll look back at videos that I've done where I thought that I looked like really bad in the clothing that I was like trying on and I actually feel like I look so good so like I wish that the body dysmorphia wasn't always just like in that present time where I feel like no matter what size I am I hate everything and like how I look I'm trying to embrace that more and so instead of just like hiding my body in huge t-shirts and leggings that just still makes me look big I'm just in bulky clothing that isn't accentuating the like the waist or the things that I do have so I'm trying to get better at just wearing things that yes this might show my belly but at least it accentuates and doesn't just make like all of me look fat maybe you guys struggle with that same thing in postpartum but obviously uh, weight loss is not fast for me at the moment and I'm just going to have to live with that for this summer so I'm hoping I can look more put together this summer and feel much better about myself but I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I will see you all in another video soon Bye, everyone.